Hey guys, one clue here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really good day. In today's video, I want to show you something new that I've created. So let's get started. As you can see, we're kind of like sitting on GitHub, but this is just the second part of today's video. What I want to show you is a new extension. If you do click up here, you see I have created something that's called the Bitex Viewer. What it will do, it will automatically detect your local network. And if you click on scan for Bitex devices, it will look in your network for Bitex devices. And I can currently see my Bitex hex and my NerdX that I do have running here. And that's all what this nice extension is. Some of you might now ask, hey, why do we need it? We can just open up the web UI. Sure, that's a thing but I'm lazy, so I just created this. And I applied it to Google, so maybe it will come in the Google Web Store. I'm not sure about this. So if you want to get it right now, bear with me, I'll show you how to do it. All the links that you do need are in the description down below, so make sure to check them out. And while you're doing so, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos of mine. And now let me show you how to actually get this. All you need to do is come to my GitHub repository and you can check out the whole code of everything. So if you don't trust me, please make sure and verify everything because everything that this lookup or this BitX viewer is doing is running locally. Nothing gets sent over somewhere else. It is purely on your system, nowhere else. I do have the release version one. You can click on that and just download the zip file with the source code. And if you do that, you need to unpack it. And then in Chrome or in any other Chromium browser, and I do use Brave here, you need to come to extensions and click on manage extensions. Let me quickly swap over to the part here. What you need to do then is click on load unpacked and select it. Let me quickly go over there. And you just select the unpacked repository. You don't need to specify anything, just use the folder, click on select and import it. It should look like this, BitX Viewer version 1.0, 1.0. And then you do have this nice icon here, just bookmark it so that you do see it all the time, scan for BitX devices. And every time you close and reopen it, it should automatically update the hash rate of your devices. It will not be automatically while you have it open, but as soon as you do close it and come back, it will do so. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for having me.